are you? Are you ready for fun with photos? I'm always ready for fun with photos. We just got back from a week scuba diving in the Cayman Islands. Cool. And what we did was take a picture on board before we jumped in the water at each dive site. What I'm going to show you today is how you can take a group of photos and have them automatically plotted on a map. So you can map your memories using Google Photos and Google My Maps. It's pretty cool. cool. Very cool. The first thing, this is important, your camera needs to be recording the location of your photos. We, that's called geotagging or location tags, and it's slightly different settings on the iPhone and the Android, so I want to show you on both. First on the iPhone, it's on the iPhone, it's in the main system settings, settings, and then it's considered a privacy issue to have location showing on your photos. So it's under privacy and security. Location services must be on, but then you also you still have to tap on it to get down to camera. And notice mine says while using. If yours says never, then your photos are not recording the location where they were taken. Now on the Android, you have to go into the camera. So you go to camera and then it's the little gear for settings, for camera settings. And on this phone, which happens to be a Samsung, it's called location tags and you turn it on. Now in some other Android phones, you may have to go into general and more, but find something that's called location and or geotags. So once those are on, every photo you take will now be stamped with the Latin lawn of the location where the photo was taken. And then you can do this. It, but the second part of this is that we're using Google My Maps, not Google Maps, not the map view on Google Photos. Google My Maps is a separate thing, and I want to show you just a little bit. So it's at mymaps.google.com, and I have created lots of maps. This is where you can create your own custom maps with whatever markers and photos that you want on it. So for example, I have a map of our 20, our last big RV trip was in 2021, and you can see every stop here. And if I click on a stop, you can see photos. This was so cool. This was a harvest host. Remember this where we got to? Oh, yeah. We got to ride in a covered wagon. On the Oregon Trail. And we know exactly where that was because I placed them on the map. Now, I did this manually. Most of the time, you're using Google My Maps. You are adding markers and adding photos to those markers. What we're going to show you today is how to do that automatically. Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this tutorial video is about how to plot a group of photos onto a map using Google Photos and Google My Maps. First, I'm going to take you to My Google Photos and show you the group of photos we're going to be working with. So, photos.google.com, and notice I'm logged in with my, my little face there. And this is a group of photos of presidential museums. In our many years of RVing, we made a point of visiting every presidential museum. So I put one picture from each museum into a album called Visited Presidential Museums. Now, each one needs to be geotagged. You need to have the location information and how you see that is with this little eye. If I click it on, an information panel opens up to the right, and we see the map of where this was taken. I look at the next picture. This one doesn't have a map, but notice that it has where was this taken. I can click there and enter Reagan Presidential 
oops, that's house, so I got to keep typing. Anything that is in Google Maps, you can attach to a picture. So this is the presidential library, yes. And it adds the map. Check to make sure all of your photos have a map. And that means that they were either taken by a smartphone that automatically includes the location information, or you added it with something like the tool available in Google Maps. I mean, Google Photos. <laughs> All right, so now we need to go to our mapping software, and that is called Google My Maps. There are several different ways to get to it, but I like going directly. So it's mymaps.google.com. Make sure to add that, or you might be at a different <laughs> My Maps site. Notice I am still logged in with my same account. So one account gets you into all services of Google, My Maps, and My Photos. And let's create a new map. And we're going to call this one Presidential Museums. Now here's where it gets really easy. I'm just going to import a photo album. Now I have lots of photo albums. You might not have to search through them as much as I do. But there it is. Visited Presidential Museums. I just click on that and now I do need to select each picture I can't even click and shift click. I don't know why. I have to click each picture and then select and watch what happens. Boom. They are all located where they belong. And there's Nixon's and there is Reagan's. Now I do have to go and edit their titles because they came in with a title of their location. Click on each and you can click on them over here in the legend as well. So that one and then the edit pencil and then save. Whenever you make a change to a marker you have to save. And there I have my map of pictures. Well, now that you understand how it's done, let me demo how I got the dive sites listed on the map. First of all, is, you need to do this on a computer. Google My Maps is just impossible on a phone. So I go to My Maps google.com. I am signed in. Here are all the maps I've made over the years. I create a new map. And I want to create it with the album of dive sites. I just click on import and albums. Now this is Google My Maps, so it knows that Google Photos albums is where I'm going here. And it is 2024 Cayman Dives. And once again, I do have to select each one and insert. And that's all it takes. As long as you know that each photo has the geotag, then they get plotted so, so fun to see exactly where we were for each dive. I want to give you one more example, and I'm not even going to start a new map. I'm just going to add a layer to this map and show you Maryland's ashes. My mom died a few years ago, and I have taken it upon myself to continue her world travels and spread her ashes all over the world. I've taken a picture every place that we've gone, and that is this album called Maryland's Ashes. Select them, and there's, there's quite a few here, and insert, 
and now you will see markers all over the world. I think I've done a pretty good job. And at each marker, you can click on it and see the photo. So that is mapping your memories. And if you want to learn more about Google My Maps, oh, there's so much you can do with Google My Maps, then become a member at Geeks on Tour and we have a full set of tutorial videos. I'm Chris. I'm Jim. And this was Fun With Photos. See you next time.